Hi everyone, welcome to the Sewing Swan. Let me show you today how to make these beautiful, easy and quick mug cozies that you can make in just five minutes. I'm using this beautiful fabric by Riley Blake, specially for Valentine. So stay tuned. Are just adjustable because they are with elastic and it's reversible for two entirely different looks reversible so you will need two different fabrics one for the outer and one for the lining which will be the other side if you don't care about a reversible version you just can use any lining piece so I'm making two these are my two outer and these are my two lining or the other look of the uh, of the cozy you can use batting or um, uh, let's say uh, another piece of flannel I'm using just calico you will need some pins marking tool I'm using a pen some ruler piece of elastic and you will need your template I just traced this from my laptop screen you can download it and print it or you can use just the uh, regular paper coffee sleeve from around your purchased uh, coffee mug you just print it trace it you can transfer it into a harder kind of paper I also trace it into this carton paper it's sturdy and you can use it over and over there are many templates free for you to use from Google so this won't be a problem to get you will need some flat buttons, two for each cozy. Place, place on the fabric, on the wrong side or the back of the fabric and just trace it with a pen or a marker. Don't cut out yet because you will need to get a ruler and take marks of quarter of an inch outside the template you traced you just take quarter of an inch marks all around this way put the quarter of an inch marks all around and now connect them to make one line so you will get two lines the inner one which is the finish size line the size of the template and the outer line which is quarter of an inch away from it which is the line you will be cutting at and your seam allowance now after you cut your piece of fabric on the outer line do the same just use it as a template for your backing fabric and for your batting also you can place your outer or front fabric on the back fabric and the calico if you are using calico they are not too thick for me to cut through the two layers I am just tracing the outer fabric and cutting you get your three pieces ready Now, place your fabric the right side facing you. This is the outer or the front fabric and the back fabric. Right sides facing each other. So, right side is down. And then you place your batting or your filling, whatever it is, on top. Pin all around. And we will sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance leaving an a little opening Go ahead and use this line as your guide to sew a perfect quarter of an inch seam allowance all around uh, the fabric so you just sew on the line and don't forget to leave an opening of one inch or less so you can turn the thing out 
put a mark from where you should start and where you should finish and so all around back stitching at the beginning and the end there you go at the corners so you have a nicer look when you flip it when you flip it out and now use the opening and between the right faces of the fabrics the front and the back you just bring the whole thing out now cut now cut a long a piece of elastic fold it and insert both ends into the opening that you left about half an inch inside now so all around with a matching thread or a thread that looks nice on it with an eighth of an inch seam allowance all around to give it a nice look and hold everything together here it is I backstitched twice to um, keep the elastic in place so when you stretch it to uh, fit your mug size it doesn't come out now try to close it and to place your button behind the loop so here is where the loop is when you match the sides and you put it behind the loop so you give it a little uh, stretch and keep it in place on your mug and now with a double threaded needle you sew your button into place you don't want to lose where you located your button so you put a mark and get your needle from the other side place the button on it and sew sew like four to five times on each hole few stitches to keep it in place now without cutting your needle I mean without cutting your thread get your needle through the buttonhole a last time and place the other button on the other side so the sewing place is covered nicely and you can use both sides with a very nice look so you cover the sewing the sewing uh, space with the button and you sew again through both buttons it's easy it doesn't look it, 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 it is not as difficult as it looks see you can easily go through both with no difficulty now to fasten up you will need to take one of the threads over your needle and make a loop around it to make like a knot to secure it in place do this several times because you can't access the fabric behind the button there is another button and this will work just fine just do it several times to secure the button in place and you are all done in no time there we go
Beautiful. Mug sleeve in just in five minutes. This takes five minutes if you have your fabric cut 10 minutes maximum from start to finish. Let me show it to you on a mug. How beautiful is that? Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet for the future tutorials and please share this video with your friends on different social medias so you give them an idea and inspiration for a quick and easy Valentine gift. Whip up by dozen just in an hour. See you next time.